How's it going everyone? Swanee and Cookie here with another Helldivers 2 update and apparently we celebrated our victory over the automatons just a little too early because they're already back in full force and have taken over an entire new chunk of the Galactic War map. And with that we have brand new major orders and a new dispatch. So Cookie, let's hear it. What is going on with the automatons? Well, we got a new dispatch that says high priority broadcast all units to Libcon 1. The Federation under attack multiple planets have fallen. A massive automaton invasion fleet comprising tens of thousands of warships arrived from FTL jump to the Valdis sector and overran nearly every planet in just hours. Attacks on communications networks delayed warning until now. SEAF reserves are scrambling. All hell divers are called to deploy immediately to the defense. Also says that this fleet dwarfs the automaton armies destroyed in Operation Swift Disassembly. And as we predicted from the start, they were merely a vanguard. This is the automaton's true force where the automatons hid this fleet and what their true intentions are those questions must be answered later and of course along with this dispatch we have a brand new major order which needs to be completed in the next three days saying the automatons have revealed their true force again massive invasion fleet and the defenses are scrambling slow its advance as much as possible succeed in the defense of at least five planets you'll get 45 medals if we end up completing this yeah and it looks like we get a bunch of new planets to visit uh, we've never been on these planets before and they have a bunch of different mechanics and you know some of them are kind of similar with some of the same weather pattern and stuff some of them have fog some of them have fire tornadoes but short bay is one of the new planets and it has acid storms and i was playing on it for a little bit and it's pretty cool and they added a whole new uh defend event it's called evacuate high value assets and you basically just defend different sections the mission starts off and there's different walls and you have to go and press a button to close the wall and then the automatons will land and they have to like blow up the walls and it pushes you back further and it's kind of broke off into like three or four different chunks and it feels like a horde mission like a lot of people were asking for more mission types where when we're supposed to defend we want it to feel like we're actually defending and that's what this feels like it this feels like we're hunkered down and we have to defend against the automaton so i am a big fan of this new game mode yeah, not to mention it, it utilizes a lot of stratagems that are very rarely used because there aren't that many situations where you get to just defend one area. Because, yeah, there's a lot of times where you're like the you know extraction and stuff like that, but you can get attacked from so many different spots. This kind of filters everything into generally the same spot, like they all come through in the same area. So that way, you know, sentries and mines and things of that nature become a lot more effective because you know where they're going to come from and you know exactly where you need to put your stratagems to defend yourself. So I like that they incorporate these stratagems that are rarely used, and hopefully that'll kind of increase awareness about what they might want to do with those stratagems too in the future, because I just feel like nobody cares about them at all at this point. Yeah, anytime I ever would pick a mine, you guys would yell at me because I would throw down a minefield and then you would step on them and blow up. Well, yes. with this new mission type, I can throw down mines and nobody cares. Like, <laughs> we're, we fall back and we're safe we're, we're, we're behind the wall and i can throw the minefield on the other side of the wall and it will just blow up all of the automatons and everybody's happy so same, same goes for the mortars i hate when people pick the mortars because the mortar always blows me up but now with this new game mode the mortar can fire off as many shots as it wants and i'm safe i don't have to worry about the mortar so uh same goes for that big heavy machine gun placement the one that you can call down and get on uh mm -hmm. like the HMG. portal turret yeah hmg no one ever uses that and now there's a good reason to actually use that so i'm excited that we get to actually use some of these stratagems that normally nobody ever picks yeah i mean typically we're always on the offensive we're trying to attack them it's kind of nice to have a little bit of a change of pace and it, and it makes sense in this situation too that does give us something new with the automatons returning which is kind of nice yeah I i'm glad that they're giving us something new but i am a little disappointed that they came back this quickly i know some people were predicting that this was just you know it was only going to happen for a couple days and they were going to come back swinging just as hard but I, I figured we'd have it like a week or something it's only been what like maybe two days and you know they're back with an army bigger than before eh, i feel like that's kind of dumb but I i'm glad that they're back because i did get tired of fighting just bugs i like having a variety of multiple enemy types but I i'm a little disappointed with that i'm i'm pretty disappointed i mean to be perfectly honest like uh i think this is a misfire on their part like you have to at least keep the automatons out for at least a week two weeks 
or something like like make us feel like we accomplished something i i know they've kind of done this in a jokey sort of way because like the tweet that went out said somehow the automatons return which i guess is kind of like the meme from star wars about palpatine returning yeah except nobody liked that palpatine returned yeah but that yeah they're kind of missing the point of that meme was that highlighted how stupid that was i know this game obviously isn't 100 percent serious either but i do think this is a kind of a misfire i, I don't think the automaton should have come back this fast and i've only played a few matches but it doesn't seem like the automatons have changed any they're the same automatons too so yeah uh, basically nothing happened which is pretty disappointing to i think honest. this is a big miss because just last week they added the whole uh the new gunships and the big factory walker things they could have just waited to release those and release them now yeah i'm like, surprised that they didn't made, do that yeah that would have made way more sense they come back stronger than ever with these new secret units but that's not the order that they did it in so i i don't know i feel like that was just a bit of a missed opportunity there but i mean oh well i mean i'm still gonna face them i'm still gonna have fun playing the game it's just i i feel like they they could have done this a little bit differently i think they kind of rushed this i think they should have focused on the bugs for a while and made people feel like we actually had taken care of the automatons or something and you know now that we've pushed the terminates back then they reappear would have made more sense from a story standpoint there's also you know we don't know what this is going to lead to maybe this is leading to something too but at least as it looks right now uh kind of disappointing i mean the only thing we've really earned out of this is a new game mode i mean we didn't get any new weapons new stratagems or anything those might be in the works but as far as we know this is it and yeah that, that's kind of disappointing I, I don't know how the community is going to react to this i mean i haven't seen a whole lot of negative posts about it from the little bit of looking around that i've done but i would think that people are gonna feel a little short changed here that nothing really happened from all that you know work i guess it, it, yeah it just feels weird planets. to me because the other day there's so many people celebrating and cheering and the discord and reddit were popping off and everybody is posting memes about how excited they were that we finally killed them off and we, we actually succeeded and then two days later they're like ah just kidding they're they're already back in full force and they have an entire sector they went from having nothing to an entire sector in just a couple hours and uh, yeah, yeah it leaves a sour taste in my mouth which also from a story point makes no sense because if we're <laughs> if they took five planets in just a couple hours then we should not be able to defend them at all they should be unstoppable and they would just take everything you know we didn't play the original hell divers maybe this is kind of how it goes but yeah i would think from my point of view this is kind of disappointing unless there's more to it but if this is just it then yeah i'm i'm disappointed how they handled this that's not all there was a small patch that went out today with patch 1.000.202 now there was no balancing changes or anything it was just stability fixes for crashes there's been so many crashes that's been happening for people i crash i know you've crashed a couple times so i'm just gonna put it up on screen this is all the quick changes they made to uh, the crash fix then there's a bunch of known issues that's still in this update that will hopefully be fixed in the future. So if you want to read through those, you can. I have it paused on screen here. But after this patch, you crashed earlier this morning when we were playing on that new game mode. So yeah. obviously the game still isn't in a stable place. And I know this is getting very frustrating for people. I've seen people in our comments on our latest videos say, hey, I'm getting ready to stop playing the game because of how unstable this game is. So they really need to get their stuff together with these patches. Well, yeah, if you're crashing regularly, of course, you're going to be done with this game. And I totally understand that. I, I, from our standpoint, I mean, we do crash. It doesn't happen that often. But like you said, it did happen. I played two matches for maybe 30 minutes and had a crash. So that's not a good sign <laughs> after they supposedly fixed all the crashes. And like you said, it's on the new game mode. We were on Helldive difficulty. It was getting chaotic. I'm not sure why it crashed. Uh, I don't even think it gave me an error message it just totally turned the whole game off so yeah that's that's not a uh not a good sign <laughs> So hopefully that's just an unlucky occurrence for me and that doesn't become something that the whole community is going through. But yeah, this is definitely a major concern for them. Yeah, so hopefully they, uh, they get the game in pretty stable condition over the next couple updates. Because I know we're going to have probably another update later this week with the new War Bond coming out soon. So yeah, hopefully mm -hmm. they get this stuff fixed because people aren't going to want to get their hands on new weapons and then crash left and right. No, typically that would be a bad experience. <laughs> but that's going to do it for everything in this quick update video, guys. Let us know what you guys 
guys think down in the comment section down below? Were you guys upset with the whole automatons coming back this early? Do you think they should have waited a little bit longer before they came back? Or do you think we should have just wiped them out completely? I know that's not very interesting for the story if we just wiped them out and never saw them again, but I don't know. I, I expected it to play out differently, but I don't know. Let me know down in the comments, and if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, that way you don't miss out on any future Helldivers 2 videos, and we will talk to you guys next time. So, bye-bye. Bye-bye.